South Africans are currently faced with the increasing problem of financial pressures that are making many families make very difficult choices when it comes to their homes. According to FNB's recent research, almost 23% of homeowners who sold their properties in the third quarter of 2024 did it because of financial strain. This shocking statistic underscores the fact that the weight of the cost of living on the households is increasing in South Africa. The rise in the cost of basic goods and services, along with escalating interest rates and stagnant wage growth, have left many families in a state of crisis living from payday to payday. For homeowners, on the other hand, these are additional problems along with the rising mortgage payments, which lead to the inability to continue meeting monthly obligations. Moreover, the National Credit Regulator's data describe a grim state of the mortgage market in South Africa. 7.8% of mortgage holders had defaulted on their payments by the second quarter of 2025, which is a dramatic jump in the arrears statistics. This development indicates that there is a significant financial crisis that the households are going through, as owning a home becomes an impossible burden to carry for many individuals. The financial instability in the housing sector has led to significant shifts in market dynamics. South Africa's middle class and higher class is under severe financial strain. According to the Experian Consumer Default Index, mid to high income households are increasingly defaulting on their home loan. Distressed property sales have surged, turning the market into one more favorable for buyers. While this may seem like an opportunity for prospective homeowners, it reflects a deeper issue, the devaluation of properties due to forced sales. This devaluation erodes homeowners' equity, leaving them with less financial security and limiting their ability to reinvest in the economy. Additionally, as fewer first-time buyers enter the market due to affordability concerns, demand slows, creating a vicious cycle that impacts both buyers and sellers. Adding to these challenges is the increasing competition in the rental market. With more families unable to afford home ownership, the demand for rental properties has grown significantly, particularly in the mid-range price bracket of 3,000 rands to 12,000 rands. However, landlords are finding it increasingly difficult to secure tenants, as many applicants are rejected due to poor credit scores. This has led to a rise in vacancy rates and stagnant rental yields, further straining an already stressed property sector. Moreover, while coastal areas like the Western Cape continue to see strong demand due to better service delivery and economic opportunities, other regions are struggling to maintain market stability. The ripple effects of these housing market challenges are felt across the economy. Construction, a key driver of job creation, is slowing down due to reduced demand for new developments. Furthermore, sectors that depend on a thriving housing market such as home improvement, real estate services, and financial institutions are facing declining revenues. This downturn in the housing sector exacerbates South Africa's unemployment crisis, which is already among the highest globally. Reduced consumer spending, driven by financial uncertainty, further hampers economic growth and recovery. The current crisis is also deepening inequality. Wealthier households, who are less impacted by rising interest rates and inflation, are better positioned to take advantage of the buyer's market. In contrast, middle and lower income families are being priced out of both home ownership and stable rental options. This growing divide not only threatens social stability, but also undermines efforts to build a more inclusive economy. Additionally, financial institutions are becoming more cautious about extending credit, which limits access to mortgages and further constrains market growth. Policy interventions are urgently needed to address this multifaceted crisis. Interest rate reductions, expected in late 2024, could provide some relief to borrowers by reducing monthly repayment costs. However, this alone will not be enough. Policymakers must also focus on controlling inflation and fostering wage growth to improve affordability. Introducing targeted subsidies or financial assistance programs for struggling homeowners could prevent forced sales and stabilize the housing market. Moreover, expanding access to affordable housing options through public-private partnerships could help bridge the gap for those unable to afford traditional homeownership. Looking forward, experts believe that a recovery in the housing market will require a delicate balance of economic reform and market adjustments.
While the buyer's market offers opportunities for those who can afford to invest, the long-term health of the property sector depends on addressing the underlying causes of financial strain. Encouragingly, there are signs of optimism, particularly in coastal regions where demand remains robust. However, without systemic changes, the dream of home ownership will remain out of reach for many South Africans, further deepening the country's economic challenges and social divides. In conclusion, the current housing crisis in South Africa reflects broader economic issues that demand urgent attention. From escalating living costs to a weakening property sector, the challenges are deeply interconnected. Addressing these issues will require a coordinated effort from policymakers, financial institutions, and the private sector to ensure that home ownership remains attainable and the housing market regains its stability. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found this discussion insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.